Today, we go right into the middle of the Arabian Desert. We often think that deserts, especially sandy ones, are vast expanses where nothing can survive. Well, we'd be wrong. That's right. At first glance, it's not exactly overcrowded, and yet these sand dunes harbor many animals. There, you see. And it's not a mirage. It's an oryx, or rather a whole troop of them. These horned animals are so rare, they're almost legendary. And they almost did disappear for good. The thing about oryx is, they never stop traveling. They're world champion tourists. The group is guided by a female. Often it's the oldest and most experienced, and the most patient. All the rest are females, usually moms, their offspring, and of course, the young males, who drag their hooves and create commotion. But how do these oryxes manage to survive in a sandy desert? Do they eat the sand? No, they eat plants, the herbivores. And believe me, finding anything like grass in a place like this is about like finding a palm tree at the North Pole. Fortunately for the oryxes, they have what amounts to a compass in their hooves. And that beats any camel. Since there aren't any signposts out in the desert, oryxes rely on their hooves to find their way. Because as it happens, our desert travelers have a certain gland that leaves an odor in the sand. And it's right in their hooves. They can smell their way back along the same route they came, so smelly feet can be useful. Think about that the next time you change your socks. Pasture land at last. Our group of oryxes can feed and drink at the same time. Yes, these plants that keep them from dying of thirst are full of water. As a result, oryxes can go six months never drinking a drop of pure water. While some of them are having a long lunch, others sharpen their horns on a few miserable acacia branches that never asked for this treatment. It's important to keep your horns sharp and in good condition, especially for the young males who use them any way they can, trying to make it as the dominant male. In fact, the dominant male is the only one allowed to mate and reproduce. Fortunately, this sort of fighting doesn't happen very often. Oryxes would rather save their strength for the trek to the next pasture area. Remember, they never stop. Some people even say that an oryx can read cloud patterns and predict where it's going to rain. Naturally, they head for the spot on the double. Well, that's their story. Oryxes win the gold medal for walking. The only thing is, they ought to air out their socks from time to time.